Okay, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, welcome to your March 2022 career tarot reading with me, Stella Wilde. So please use the energies that come out in this monthly tarot career reading for your sign as inspiration to help you manifest your most important goals, dreams, and aspirations for your career. Also check out the links in the description of the video where you'll find other exciting videos that are relevant to your sign. And this month what I'm doing is I'm diving in with this deck first to get the general energies and then I'm using a brand new oracle deck that's all about timings and we will also clarify that with additional tarot for you. All right, let's get into your reading. All right, Pisces, let's check in and see what's going on for you with your career energies for March. And happy birthday, Pisces. I hope that if you already had a birthday, it was beautiful. If your birthday's coming up, I hope it is all that you want it to be. All right, let's see what we have going on for you with your career energies. We have the moon. And we have the two of wands. Okay. Six of wands. The Magician, ooh, and the Page of Coins. All right, this is very, very nice energy. Okay, so we have you finding the key to your treasure chest. Here it is. Now this is likely to be happening around the full moon. The full moon, of course, is in Virgo. It's always in your opposite sign. It's around the 15th of the month. And I think by two weeks after that, so by the end of the month, when we're in Aries season, which is what we have going on here with the wands, you are likely to have to find that key and be moving forward very excitedly into some sort of new position, new offer, new manifestation that, you know, you've been really wanting to have happen in your career life with these energies. But let's talk about this first. So I look at these as little treasure chests here. And uh, also the two of wands for me is a gateway card because that's what it looks like. It looks like you're going to be walking through a gate. So this full moon, which is going to illuminate, illuminate something, it's going to illuminate that piece of information, the key that will unlock a door for you to a new beginning. So this, this is going to be different for everybody. It's a general reading, um, but I would look around that the middle of that month. So there could be, uh, you know, a job interview. There could be a piece of information, a creative inspiration you get of the next product or service you want to create in your business. Whatever it is, you find the answer. That's what a key is. You find the answer that gives you the ability to unlock something that was kept from you. You didn't have access to before. So this is, this is something new. This is new access, new access to funds, perhaps, to creative ideas, to hire up people to a job, I mean, whatever it is, right? So you're going to gain access, but this, this moon is what's going to, what's going to bring you the light to where you find that key. So, cause that's the job of a full moon. Up until that point that you may feel a little emotional, right? That is also the moon. So you may feel the first two weeks, cause the full moon's not until the 15th, the first two weeks, you may be in this moon phase of Oh, is this ever going to happen? You may feel a little down in the dumps. I hope you don't. I mean, you always use the energies, but you may just kind of feel like, oh, <laughs> you know, so there may be some sighing going on and some, uh, you know, just like, woe is me type thing. And that's okay. We all go through that. Um, but keep the faith. That's the thing. You could have a very, very positive turnaround at that full moon and get that information you need. So, and then look at this gorgeousness. We have a six of wands, which is victory and success. We have manifestation with the magician here. So we have you uh, and all your skills and talents that you bring to the table here, uh, put to good use and somebody perhaps making you an offer, page of coins for your services, whether that's a job offer or buying, you know, booking your services or something like that. And with the magician here, the major arcana, this is probably some sort of new enterprise. So it could be, like I said, a new job, a new client you're working with, something brand new. There's also something that is very much dependent upon your own magical energy. And by that, I mean what you're really good at. 
The Six of Wands is gorgeous here. Victory, success. But this is also a news card. This is good news coming in. This is the King's Emissary bringing the announcement of, you know, hey, we we were successful in our in our endeavors. So gorgeous. Six of Wands for me also is very much about being seen, um, being in charge. So, you know, leading the pack, so to speak. So you could also be recognized in your industry and really get some sort of good news or an award here with this big pentacle uh, for, for being set apart in your industry, like honored in some way. All right, so uh, that may be happening for you. And that could be a key that unlocks an opportunity as well. So it's the type of thing, maybe you win an award or you get some other public kudos for your talent, skills, and abilities that leads to something else. So like you get an industry award and somebody says, okay, well now we want you on this podcast or something like that, or YouTube interview or whatever. And that's gonna lead to more opportunities for you. So it, I'm also feeling like there can be some sort of expansion um, that again, you're not gonna see coming, right? yet it's going to be unlocked for you of you being able to uh, have a higher visibility presence in the world as well. So that's possible for some of you, but I feel like we have some good news, but I feel like it's coming more, more toward like the, this culmination, whatever this is here is more likely to be happening in Aries season, but you get that Intel at that full moon. So let's check in with the timing card and see what we need to know. We have, I mean, page of coins is very good, sort of good news. And it's important too with the magician, it's important for you to be also putting yourself out there, the six of wands magician. Um, and page of coins can also be doing some research, digging deep. So finding new ways, digging deep to find new ways to put your services out there, put yourself out there, marketing especially. Both the magician and the six of wands are energies of communication. So, letting really communicating what you can do <laughs> in your career what you can do for an employer maybe you volunteer for an assignment and that leads to something even better for you uh, publicizing yourself not being shy about about your talents that type of thing finding ways to market yourself researching that page of coins especially if you have your own business in the near future in the near future, something is happening. <laughs> okay, we will dig in deeper, but look, there's the spring. Beautiful spring energy is happening here. All right, in the near future, let's find out what we need to know about that. In the near future. Ten of coins. <laughs> in the near future. And the two of swords. Okay. There's your energy. King of cups. Five of cups. And the nine of cups. All right. So there may be a little bit of some indecision here with the two of swords or doubts. Again, with that moon card and the two of swords. At the first two weeks, there could be some doubts, five of cups, two of swords here going on with this moon about whether this, oh, look, and the fool is showing up here also, whether this situation is ever going to shift for you, whatever you've been wanting to manifest, whatever you've been wanting to have in your life, in your career life, if this key is ever going to show up in your, in your little hand. Um, you know, there's, there's some doubt and your own mindset and your own, um, emotions to kind of face here. You are in the middle here and not let doubt and that moon card get the best of you or lack of faith. Also with that five of cups, nostalgia for the past, there's some coulda, woulda, shoulda energies going on here. What I think is important to notice is in the near future, you really could have a wish fulfilled to be, uh, achieving some sort of career goal for yourself in which you're moving with people uh, at a higher level, the 10 of coins. Yes, this could be manifesting greater finances, sure, but this is all. This can also be with a bigger group of people. So you could be asked, depending on your situation, you could be asked to be on the dream team at your work. You know, like, again, you finally get recognized over here for your talents and they're like, you know what, we need you on this project to make it successful. 
So it can be something like that. Sure, there might be a little bit of a raise or bonus thrown in there. That's possible. Um, so there's a wish that that can be fulfilled for you. Absolutely. Um, but again, it's what I feel is the key is over here is to really promote yourself and let people know that this is what I'm capable of. And also the same thing, if you have your own business, it is time for you to, to manifest some money magic over here through not being shy about your services and maybe raising your prices even. All right. And you know, you're not, I don't, I mean, again, it's a general reading. I don't think you're going to lose clients if you do that. But there's something here about claiming greater abundance for yourself as well, because you're in the middle here. So in the near future, claim your abundance, know what you are capable of, have that. I feel like there's, there's, you know, stuff going on here about really affirming your value to the marketplace, Oops. to the marketplace, whether that's your employer or to the clients you serve. And it may involve a price increase because sometimes when we price our services or our products too cheaply, people don't value them and they, they see it as less than people want, you know, to always buy the best. So that's something to think about. All right. Now I also feel, remember this is a career reading, whatever you unlock here, whatever you unlock, whatever opportunity may present itself, it's going to be fulfill a major emotional wish for you. But also I feel like this has the potential to grow over time to greater finances for yourself. So if particularly if you manifest another job for yourself, I would expect that this next job that you manifest would pay you a lot more, that it wouldn't be a lateral move. And if it is a lateral move, that is something to consider. I mean, everybody's situation is different. Um, that is something to consider to maybe ask for more than what they're offering. Again, it depends on your personal situation, but I feel like the key is about really stepping up and claiming this next level abundance for yourself and really selling yourself. And I know that's not always easy uh, for anybody, uh, but particularly maybe Pisces, because uh, sometimes Pisces people Again, it's a generality, but everybody loves money. Of course, why not? Money buys us time, buys us freedom, buys us nice things. But, you know, there may be some things to look at about your own attitudes toward abundance and materiality, because sometimes, especially the type of people who watch, you know, tarot and astrology videos and, you know, are more in tune perhaps with their spirituality and things like that. Sometimes we still have those leftover attitudes of, well, if I'm very wealthy and successful, then I can't also be spiritual. So that may be another thing to look at. That is a myth, of course, um, because, you know, when you have more resources, then you can share them in a way that that does help other people. And that is foundationally what Pisces is all about. Pisces is really about nurturing, helping, caring, sharing, you know, in their world, who has, who's ever in their world and, uh, you know, taking care of them kind of like cancer, but, um, you know, Pisces does it in their own <laughs> Piscean way. So when you have more resources, it's not about, you can't have more resources as a spiritual person, but you, then you can use them in ways that support your spiritual beliefs by giving to your charities of choice and, you know, things like that. So that's my point. So I feel like there may be something to look at with that. I think more abundance absolutely can be yours this month. Don't sell yourself short, really go for what you want here. Be proud of who you are and all the beautiful talents that you have to offer the world. And uh, try not to slip too much into this energy or this energy over here. There may be something you need to process and let go of. You know, sometimes we got to clear out that, that type of emotional detritus, emotional mental detritus. I love that word detritus. Get rid of it uh, so that we can make a space in our hearts and minds and pocketbooks for the next level success. So I think this is very powerful for you in the near future. You, you could have a very nice opportunity coming. So get your house in order with this, with this two of swords, five of cups, because here you are in the middle of that. Get your, get yourself shifted from this. All right. And, and this, 
and get ready for the full moon with some sort of key that could unlock your treasure chest. Pisces, I love you guys. I hope that this was helpful. Helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what's going on for you with this energy. I wish you guys all the best. Take care and I will see you again soon. Stella Wilde signing out.